in this session we are going to discuss another locking protocol that is optimistic concurrency control so in the last class whatever we discussed that is strict to pl 2 pl and time stamped based protocols all those are the locking protocols right to achieve the concurrency control we may use locking technique we may use without locking technique also so in the last class whatever we discussed that is locking protocols that is 2 pl strict to 2 pl and time stamp based or locking protocols but this concurrency control technique that is optimistic concurrency control technique is a technique without using any locks this optimistic concurrency control is without using locking technique without using any locking technique you can achieve the serializability you can achieve the concurrency you can achieve the optimist concurrency control right so how to achieve the concurrency control without using locking here in this optimistic concurrency control we have three phases right the first phase is read phase second phase is validation phase and the third phase is write phase okay now in first read phase so in this read phase what we do whatever the transactions for example consider i am writing transaction ta i am writing transaction tb i am performing the operations on read x operation and read x read y operation on two variables x and y so in this what we do here in the read phase whatever the data we are reading from x and y we store these x and y values in the local variable where we store this we store the data into the local variables that means temporary variables we consider in the temporary variables i'll store the value of read x and i'll store the value of read y let me consider p and q so these two are the local variables that are temporary variables whatever the updates you are doing to the transaction you do for the p and q after completion of everything if the data is consistent after the transaction then you update original data into x update original data into y that means what temporarily we are not touching the database just we are making a copy of the data into temporary variables p and q if we wait it the operations perform cheyalo read gaani write gaani update gaani deletion gaani ee temporary variables paina cheyali చేసిన తర్వాత డేటాబేస్ అనేది పర్ఫెక్ట్ గా వస్తుంది కన్సిస్టెంట్ గా వస్తుంది కరెక్ట్ గా వస్తుంది అనుకుంటే అప్పుడు ఏం చేయాలి ఈ లోకల్ వేరియబుల్స్ లో ఏదైతే డేటా ఉందో పి అండ్ క్యూ లో దీని ఒరిజినల్ టేబుల్స్ లో పి లో ఉన్నది ఎక్స్ లో క్యూ లో ఉన్నది వై లో స్టోర్ చేయాలి దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ రీడ్ ఫేస్ సో సింప్లీ ఇన్ ద రీడ్ ఫేస్ విల్ రీడ్ ద డేటా ఫ్రమ్ ద డేటాబేస్ అండ్ వి స్టోర్ ద డేటా ఇన్ టు టెంపరీ ఇన్ అ లోకల్ వేరియబుల్స్ క్లియర్ that is the read phase next the phase is validation phase so validate means what checking so validate means what checking validate means what checking so how to validate a data whether the data is right or wrong how to validate how to check so what is our, our ultimate dream concurrency control achieving is our ultimate dream right now i t it is nothing but initialization v t stands for validation e t transfer end transaction initiate transaction validate transaction end transaction initiate transaction is nothing but read phase validate transaction is nothing but validation phase end transaction is nothing but write phase so in the validation phase whenever you are checking so whenever you are checking after completing of write phase you must check these three cases so validation means what you have to check whether the data is correctly 
we are able to store or we are able to retrieve or not you have to check after validation phase if the database is correct if the database is consistent then we go for write phase right for example consider you are applying for an aadhar card or something biometric so what you do you put a thumb symbol on the biometric right right so what it do it validate your thumb right it validate your thumb finger prints so if the you are the right person then only it opens your account in the banks or anywhere if your thumb pr prints are not matches with the original one it not gives a permission yes or no similarly whatever the data you are considering here if the data is validated then the thing transaction goes to the right phase first it reads then it checks if checking is right then it is understand then it gives to the right face in right face what it does so in the read face what we are doing we are reading x value we are reading y value so this is a transaction a this is a transaction b right now i am writing x plus 100 here i am writing y plus 100 now what you do write x what do you do here write y so that is the transaction is over commit and commit right so what you are writing you are committing the transaction here you are committing the transaction here right whenever you are performing right you must do validation of right x before before the transaction after the transaction if the data is consistent then only it stores the data permanently in the database permanently in the database if the database is not consistent before transaction and after transaction the data must be roll back roll back means what whatever the transaction you are doing that will be go back if the data is right consistent then those details are stored permanently if they are not consistent if the database is not consistent after checking three phases you must roll back whatever the transactions you did over here right clear now so when you say permanently store or when you say roll back the data must satisfy these three cases if the these three cases are satisfying then only you perform commits so till here till here you have to check read phase right phase validate phase right read phase validate phase right phase if three conditions are satisfied if the conditions are satisfied then commit it and store the data permanently in the database so what are the three conditions the condition number 1 so what is the first condition in condition number 1 first end transaction a before you start transaction b so i means what initiate transaction b before end of this that means a transaction a should be ended then only you start transaction b so if you do like that the concurrency will be achieved there itself why because until a completes it works b, b is not going to start so after completing of one work if you do another one if you give permission to another so there will be no confusion now i am giving a book to a person a after completing his work of the book i will give to the b so is there any problem will occur no if i am giving a b the book at the same time what will happen there will be a conflict but completing of one task i give book to another person there will be no confusion similarly here also after ending the transaction a if you perform that means if you initiate transaction b there will be no confusion so you can achieve the concurrency control with the serializability next is what initiate the transaction b initiate transaction b before ending of transaction a ante ikkada em cheptunanu ikkada em cheptunanu a transaction ayipoyina tarvatane b transaction start cheyalani cheptunanu ikkada em cheptunanu transaction b you can start 
before of ending transaction but that must be validated first okay transaction b anedi validate a transaction eppudu ayipovachu validate b kanna mundhe avvali dan kanna mundhe edu avvali initiation of transaction b anedi avvali okay so ikkada initiate avvaledu ankonde ikkada validate avutunda avadu so transaction a must be ended when validated b so if you want to validate the b first it must be initiated ikkada em cheptunanu only ee two conditions chudandi ee end transaction a before validating b antunnaru validate b avvalante first e b initiate avvali kada so i am initiating b here and the third one write transaction b write transaction b before validating transaction a ఇప్పుడు ఇక్కడ బి ఎప్పుడు రాసేయాలంట ఇక్కడ బి కంప్లీట్ కమిట్ చేసే ముందు ఇక్కడ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ ఏని వాలిడేట్ చేయాలి ఇక్కడ వాలిడేట్ ఏ అయింది అంటే ఆటోమేటిక్ గా బి ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ అనేది రైట్ చేసుకోవచ్చు సో ఈ త్రీ కేసెస్ లో మీరు కమిట్ రాస్తే మనకి కాంకరెన్సీ కంట్రోల్ అనేది అచీవ్ అవుతుంది క్లియర్ సో దిస్ బి కాల్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ఆప్టిమిస్టిక్ కాంకరెన్సీ కంట్రోల్ దిస్ ఈజ్ వితౌట్ లాకింగ్ సో ఇక్కడ మనం లాక్స్ యూజ్ చేస్తున్నామా షేర్ లాక్ అని ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ లాక్ అని యూజ్ చేస్తున్నామా చేయట్లేదు వితౌట్ లాకింగ్ ఆల్సో వీ ఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు అచీవ్ ద సీరియలైజబిలిటీ క్లియర్ సో దిస్ ప్రోటోకాల్ సారీ దిస్ కాంకరెన్సీ కంట్రోల్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో కాల్డ్ యాజ్ వాలిడేషన్ బేస్డ్ కాంకరెన్సీ కంట్రోల్ వాలిడేషన్ వాలిడేషన్ బేస్డ్ కాంకరెన్సీ కంట్రోల్ యూ కెన్ ఆల్సో కాల్ ఇట్ యాజ్ వాలిడేషన్ based concurrency control now consider an example here first i have x is 100 right now y is 200 and considering so this is the values in the read phase now i'm considering x as p y as q right now in a validation phase i am going to perform a transaction that is x plus 100 so x is what p plus 100 i am doing here i am doing q plus 100 right so what you do you perform write p write q so whenever you are performing write p and write q internally right operation will not perform what it will do it will validate what it will validate what is the original value 100 plus 100 200 here 200 plus 100 300 here also it is going to validate what it validates whether the 200 value is right or wrong whether 300 value is right or wrong that is validation phase so validation phase what it is checking previously 100 is there now it is adding 100 now it becoming 200 so now the before the data transaction after the data transaction is the database is right or wrong right so before it is 100 now it is 200 the database is consistent that means correct so commit the transaction commit means what whatever the transaction you are doing this 200 this 200 will be permanently stored in the x when after validating the ikkada right operation perform avutundi perform ayin tarvata validation chestunna whether the value is right or wrong if the value value is right then you perform commit commit ante ne kada permanently the data store avutundi now this permanently data is going to be stored here consider in this also same thing first before the q is having 200 now i am adding 100 now total value is 300 now validate it whether the value is 300 is right or wrong for example instead of 300 i am getting 150 instead of 300 i am getting 150 so what is validation phase is doing before the transaction the y is 200 now for if i am adding 100 rupees it should be 300 it should be what 300 but what you are getting you are getting as 150 so that is what your calculation your transaction is wrong so this validation phase what it does it must be roll back it must be roll back so roll back just same outundi previous the 150 vachindi ippudu queue loki 
सो क्यू इज इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी अना इक वन फिफ्टी उड़ा क्यू लंत टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेडे बैक इफ द वालिडेशन फेज इज सक्सेफुल देन वी पर्फॉम कमिट सो दट द वालू इज गोइंग टू बी स्टोर्ड पर्मनेंटली इन द डेटा बेस इफ द वालिडेशन फेज इज रांग दट मीन डेटा बेस इज नाट कंसिस्टेंट बिफोर ट्रांसाक्षन अंड आफ्टर ट्रांसाक्षन यू मस्ट रोल बैक यू आर् नाट गोइंग फर् द रईट फेज क्लियर रईट फेज एपड़ी वे द रईट फेज विल कम इफ यू से कमिट वे दमिट विल कम इफ द वालिडेशन फेज इज सक्सेफु So finally, in this what we are doing in the optimistic concurrency control, first we go for the read phase. So in the read phase, we copy the original data into local variables. Next, in the second phase is validation phase. In the validation phase, we check for the data whether the data is whichever updated is following the serializability or not. So if the following things that means transactions follows the serializability then the data whichever we are taking that is going to be updated in the database right if the data is not proper not consistent what we do we must roll back here right in the write phase what we do whatever the validation phase is successful if the read phase is successful then we go for the validation phase if the validation phase is successful then we go for the write phase so in the write phase what we do if the validation phase is successful permanently we store the data into the database clear this one here what we are considering this concurrency control can be achieved on the common data if you are having different data as x and y if you have x and y transaction a performing on x transaction b performing on y then there will be no conflict when the conflict occurs if transaction a performing on x and then the transaction b also performing the x then only the conflict will occur serializability may chance of missing so if you use the common data then only this locking technique is required so in our example also if you take x and x here also no problem here also the value of uh, x is 100 here also the value of x is 100 so q also having 100 p also having 100 right so in this case also there will be no problem with the optimistic concurrency control